championship tournament. We had four Midwest Conference teams, two from the North and the South, participating today. We had a semifinal match this morning, and we had two teams that fouled out early that had made their way on up the match and now to prepare for our doubles championships tomorrow, singles championships on Sunday. That was Lake Forest College and Lawrence University. They're not here, but let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Chris Graham. I'm the commissioner of the Midwest Conference. With me taking video over there is Corey Weibel, the sports information director, handles all the website work. So if you enjoy what you see on there on a weekly basis throughout the season, please feel free to share your thoughts with him. I'm here to present an award to this year's team champion. We had a fantastic match here this afternoon. Somehow always ends up having these two teams finding each other in the postseason in the, in the final match for the team competition during the season. Throughout the past decade, we have two outstanding coaches and two outstanding programs. We had a fantastic runner-up that had a wonderful run here this season, particularly at the end, and played outstanding tennis today, played like champions. Help me in congratulating our runner-up team. should be charging for parking likely, which is the uh, parking garage to the east of the complex. Otherwise, you're paying into... Uh, not on Saturdays. Not on Saturdays, but it's probably going to be full with the state tournament. Your best bet is to park in the parking garage and pay the fee for Saturday. No fee on Sunday. There's no charge, but we look forward to having you back. It's going to be a long weekend of tennis. Safe travels to everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations. <laughs>